Hey everyone, uh, some of you might remember that I did the cable creation dock review uh, not too long ago. Uh, in that, I gave it my ASUS ROG certified badge, and that's because it did provide the turbo boost, and you got the additional input of the SD card and the HDMI working. However, it kind of left a little bit to be desired, at least in terms of 4K and 120, uh, or 8K in some cases. So we'll kind of get into this new dock that they sent over. Getting into the unboxing experience, it's very similar to the other cable creation dock that I did uh, take a look at there. Uh, it does come with a nice little pouch, same as the other one, and it has the same kind of nice pull-out tab to get to everything. Beyond that though, it's just a nice kind of aluminum sturdy dock. Uh, so this one is different than the other one. So this one does do 8K 30. So that means it can do 4K 120. Uh, and what I was curious to see was if it could actually do the 4K 120 with HDR as well as doing VRR potentially or uh, G-Sync or FreeSync, whichever variant you want to use. Um, and we'll kind of get into that in the further testing. Taking a look at the product page for this dock here, so they do have the various docks of the new style or the new version. Uh, so we have a 4K30, 4K30, which I would avoid honestly both of those. Uh, and if we take the step up to the 4K60, uh, we get a 6 and 1, 7 and 1, and then 8K30, 8K30, we get 6 and 1 and a 5 and 1. So now the 8K30 is like I said, they can do 4K 120, which is ideal because there are some games that the ally can do that, eh, like higher than 60 at 4K. But at the very least, there are games that can go above 60 at 1440p. So, I mean, at least in the sense of future-proofing, it's better to get this dock as opposed to the only 4K60 one. Uh, honestly, like if you have a laptop or something, it does the display port. It doesn't do display port uh, to HDMI, uh, but it does do, or sorry, uh, USB-C to HDMI. My apologies, not display port. It doesn't have display port. It has HDMI, so that does the 4K 128K30. It does do HDR. I verified that, uh, but unfortunately it does not do VRR. Now, talking about VRR for the USB-C docks, in my experience I've not really found one that actually does give VRR or G-Sync or FreeSync. So I don't really know what to make of that. So it like it, it does the 4K 120, it does the HDR, but it just isn't able to pass through that G-Sync or FreeSync signal, it seems like. And I found even when using on the uh, XG Mobile 3080, when I have a display port to HDMI 2.1 adapter, it should it well it does put out 4k 120 but it cannot do hdr because there's just not enough bandwidth or signal integrity for it there's just i don't know um and you cannot do g-sync or free sync either so that's not i guess a knock against these companies making it um, i would like to see them include vrr or g-sync if it's possible i don't know if it's some sort of weird kind of thing that they're doing uh, when it's handing off the signal from USB-C to HDMI. Perhaps that's just a limitation and you cannot do it regardless. Um, but anyway, so we have the HDMI 8K30, 4K120. Uh, if you want to see more in-depth detailed of the stats of the USB-C and the, or sorry, the USB-A and the Ethernet, I suggest you check out my previous video. Um, but for this, yes, we did get the 5 gigabit, uh, 5 gigabit speed or close to. Um, and yeah, it's beyond that. There's really not much else to say. This is kind of my new gold standard for the dock, to be honest. Uh, this is what other companies should be using as their kind of baseline. Now, that's not to say that this dock is perfect. Uh, honestly, there's all this empty space over here. Maybe if it was a little bit wider, we could have had some more ports or something like that on it. Um, ultimately, it would be nice to have the USB-C also act as display port out. Uh, I know there's a small subset of people that would enjoy that feature. Uh, I'm not myself one of those people, but to each their own. 
Uh, also, I'd like to see possibly two and a half gigabit ethernet speed. That's becoming more and more popular now, uh, but that would be on a more premium device, obviously. This is kind of my new, like I said, gold standard for the base USB docks. Um, so yeah, honestly, I won't be accepting any more docks for review that aren't doing 4K 120 that I haven't accepted already. I do have two more docks coming uh, from Basius. Uh, but yeah, so beside that, expect to see those in future reviews. Uh, there'll be something interesting to do with that. Uh, but yeah, so good job, Cable Creation. Thank you very much for sending this over again. Um, you sent over the last one as well. And then at my request, yeah, they sent over the second one as well. So it was very nice of them to do that. Um, but yeah, just know it's not the perfect product. Uh, your charging speed is limited to, I believe it was uh, somewhere in the neighborhood, 80 something watts of output. You can put into uh, up to 100 watts of input though. Uh, so just be aware with maybe heavier duty laptops or gaming laptops, you're definitely not gonna get your full USB-C charge speed through that. Uh, you're gonna wanna use your barrel jack or whatever your bespoke charging situation is for your laptop. But yeah, beyond that, um, I'd like to always thank my channel members for subscribing and giving me their hard-earned money for, <laughs> for I don't know what, but I always appreciate it um, nonetheless. So, And I always appreciate everyone taking the time to just stop and just take a minute or two to watch, even if it's to give me a downvote or something. Whatever. It's always nice just to know that somebody's watching my video and getting some sort of emotion out of it, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so that'll wrap it up for this one, and I hope you all have a great day.